I, ca I can't <laughs> imagine, I can't imagine that in 2024, when we should be bringing more and more of these companies into a, a vibrant, a dyna dynamic Nigerian economy, okay, they are actually leaving. Because and infrastructure is not there. Even let, let me let me even do you know even Nestle, Nestle made a loss because of uh, forex losses, exchange rate losses. They import predominantly a good number of their raw materials. What what why should they why should they be Nigerian importing why should they importing losses. things? They shouldn't be importing the things. Okay, let me correct myself. They should be. They shouldn't be importing the vast majority of their raw materials for the things they produce in Nigeria. Well, um, it, it, there, there are several ways you can look at it. Yes, you are correct that they shouldn't be importing the vast majority, majority of things that we can produce in Nigeria, yes. especially things like cocoa, which is one of their major uh, uh, sources of raw mat material. But what they will tell you from research is that some of the quality of the things that we have here, that uh, they don't feel that uh, is of their standard, right? That is on one side. Then you should also recognize the fact that it is not all their products that they fully produce here. Yeah, okay. A good number of their products are brought in as finished products. Well, well. See, that, that's semi-finished products. Okay, that that's one thing again. I, I have I have issue issues with. By now, having semi-finished products. Yeah, I, 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 I get I get it. By now, be haven't been in, in Nigeria for decades. See, Niger, Nigeria is a two hundred and twenty billion lives. And around us, another two hundred and so Nigeria and envir environment can give those big companies half a billion people who, from their from their fa factories in Nigeria, can produce all the things they can sell. All through West Af West Africa and uh, Central Africa, they can they can sell all the things they produce. So, see, by now, those companies should have built big fa factories in Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon, everything, every uh, all those all those places from the raw material. Majority, majority sourced in within those those region, and see the truth is that we have not sat down and say we need to be involved in the supply chain of the products that we use. See, we talk about it. I, I once, one, some time ago, I was li I was listening to, uh, I think he was an economic uh, minister of one country that was saying that why would this company come buy the raw materials, take it to Europe, and bring us back the finished product that. Why couldn't they come and, and and build the factories in the country? Okay, fair enough. But the, my question is, these people buy the raw material from their countries, our countries, and none of us, like it, like it, like it, like it uh, said earlier, we politicians and whoever. Get the money from from our countries, and 
take it abroad to hide, right? Why can't we? See, I'm, I'm, I'm giving them a, a joker. Eh? Why can't they steal the, comp the, the money hmm, and use it to build factories? Eh? What class because factories? Because they will be so the, so the thing is that we we are our own worst enemies. We it's okay? true now, they will be traceable. Uh, yeah, so see, we are our own worst enemies. When I say we, yeah, including us and the politicians who steal the money and all that. I mean, I I I just don't uh, know. But, but, but let me let me add something very quickly, right? You see, when we are talking about um, multinationals building factories and all that stuff, using, you know, uh, annexing the opportunities inherent in the value chain instead of just taking raw materials for from Africa and uh, going to produce in their countries and bringing it back. There are some countries in the West Coast, I, I think um, Senegal and either Senegal or Côte d'Ivoire, which is one of the major um, cocoa producers as well. No, two of them. Yes. Either, yeah, this is, is uh, happened in Senegal and Ghana. They had a meeting with um, Nestle and I think Cadbury or something. And they said that they won't be allowing this concept of, um, you know, just take raw materials from Africa and go and produce them. But in as much as we look at that, we should look at why would the typical Europeans take raw materials from Africa and go and produce in their own country instead of producing here in Nigeria. Now, they take raw materials from you, they are creating jobs in their own country. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. They are creating jobs in their own country. And when they export to you, they are earning export proceeds yeah. from you. Yes. Because you are you are importing yes. from them. So why would they want to lose the jobs they are creating in their own country? Do you know how many people will lose jobs if the old value chain is locked down in Africa for cocoa product? Let's even say chocolate alone. Mm. That's on one side. That's on one side. Hold on. That's on one side. I'm going to get somewhere. To go. That's on one side. On the flip side, those climbing for value chain, the total production value chain to be locked in Africa so that we benefit from, you know, job creation, you know, export proceeds and everything, because some of these raw materials will also be exported and will earn export proceeds and all that stuff. Have you created the enabling environment? That, that's, that the, that's, this, that's the key. That these foreign companies enjoy in their own country. That's the key. In terms of, in terms of governmental policy, governmental will, uh, tax rebate, stuff like that, that would be catalyst to ginger production and manufacturing. That is have the you key. handled power? Have you handled your road network for supply? I travel quite a lot and I see how many lorries are on our roads that collapse, have accidents, carrying commodities yeah you know from one state to the other this is a major problem i see i've traveled all over about 33 states in this country out of the 36 including the federal capital territory and i see this every time i travel by road that's on those locations in which i don't travel by air that i have to make short road journeys of about an hour or two mm. i see these things every time yeah. So 